Hello everybody and welcome back to m j Games. I am Michael. Now today um, we are looking at just arguably the greatest dual coaster I've seen in Planet Coaster console edition and, and I mean I mean this, this just honestly is amazing and this is created by Maverick NMS. Now this was actually created back in December and Jasmine and I did do a full review of this park but I just wanted to do, uh, since I've started doing some coaster spotlights now, I really just wanted to spotlight this coaster because this is phenomenal. And as you can see, the dual kind of layout. And I believe there's just one, maybe two inversions now that I'm thinking about it. But it's just really well done. And it's just the custom supporting on this is phenomenal as well. And I love these single rail coasters. They, to me, are really cool but as you notice that's not the same car that you normally see with a single rail that's actually the F25 B&M um, sit down coaster car so I think that's pretty cool switching them out as you can see they basically finish right at the same time so let's kind of look around at the coaster track and then we'll end up riding a POV and we'll ride a POV of each one because they're a little bit different but you can see right away these custom supports just phenomenal i mean they are so cool so unique and it's just it gives so much like such a good look to the ride i mean you can see from a distance just those custom supports and it's it's impressive and the reason why i went ahead and looked at this within the park is so that we could see guests on the ride and stuff and so you see here you've got supports here at the bottom two sets of supports and then you have the supports in the middle of it and then at the very top of the lift hill and supporting that track as the coaster starts its ascent. And that's a pretty steep hill, which is cool. And you see it kind of flattens out here at the bottom. Um, you know, maybe a little too much, I don't know, but I think it's it's really cool. And as you see, once again, you got custom supports here. And this is, I mean, this the custom supporting is phenomenal here. You got a lot of different styles too and but they all kind of keep the same base and so you got custom supports on the vast majority of the ride but my favorite custom support and this reminds me a lot of what one that Moomin did in his very British British Park series and actually if you take this off I actually kind of think that looks better like this you guys can correct me if I'm wrong with that but look how cool it is with just having this one kind of centerpiece here and then you've got the supports that go out that is uh, that's super cool i think that's a really cool and unique design and you know I'm, i gotta do better with custom supports and i want to try to take some ideas away from this because this is just this to me is the the best custom supports that i've seen on console version and it's to me it's really not that close and i've seen a lot of good custom supports but these are just amazing and so as you can see here how it's almost like every part of the track that's custom supported is custom supported in a different way which is very unique you know like these are different than what you see here well i guess they're the same but this part's different you got this part that's different and then obviously this area and that area so really super impressed and let's go ahead and take a ride on the coaster so let's go on, oh I forgot to say, this is called Inferno and Blizzard. And it's on the workshop, and as I said, this was created back in December. So I'm really excited to see what this, because I know this creator is working on another park right now, and so I'm super excited to see what this creator is able to come up with.
All right, so that was Inferno, and we haven't really even looked at the station yet. Um, you know, I would probably just have... I don't necessarily like seeing all these supports, but that's just me personally. But as you can see, a lot of detail. So you've got Inferno and Blizzard, essentially the exact same queues, just on different sides, which is always cool to see that it's been able to be like replicated. But here's what's amazing when looking at this park right now. Okay, this park's on 99% on the PS5 and so that means it's roughly about a hundred and fifty percent on the PS4 which is just phenomenal I mean this parks actually called Funland 160 percent um, so as we now let's go ahead and ride the blue one so as you can see numbers are just a little bit different but look at that 801 for the excitement rating and usually when you see that the rides are not as realistic because the game doesn't actually track stuff that realistically but let's go ahead and enjoy this ride Alright, so which of the two did you guys enjoy better? And I know they're both very similar, so or I guess I should say enjoy more, because enjoy better is not proper English. So which of the two coasters did you guys enjoy more? Um, you know, I think, I remember Maverick was doing a video talking about it, and I believe based on the stats, this one's got a little bit more excitement than the blue one. And so, like, everything's a little bit more in the green for the one on the left. So I think it's supposed to be just a little bit more um, thrilling than the one in blue. But you can see the tighter turn. But to me, they're both basically very similar. And one thing that you can notice, if you click on the coasters and you delete them, that means each coaster was 9% on the PS5. So roughly, it's a time and a half for the PS4, so roughly 13 or 14% for the PS4. So that means this was created using the 4 meter method. And I cannot imagine, I believe he said it took him about 12 hours just to make the coaster. Because when you're making a coaster like this, like I, have, I haven't attempted it just because of I, can, I can't imagine how tedious it's going to be. But you can't build all of one coaster and then the other one. You kind of got to build them both as you're going and so he said he constantly had the the trains on testing mode but you see he wanted them to be as close as possible throughout the layout but as you saw kind of when you get to the end they basically finish at the exact same time so it's really a brilliant brilliant coaster and like i said i just wanted to spotlight it again i know he spotlighted the park but i think this is this is still one of my favorite coasters i've seen in the game and just the custom supporting here is amazing so i'd love to get your guys thoughts and as i said this creator is working on another park right now so make sure you go check out his youtube channel because he has posted some videos of um, some stuff that's going on in his park and the link for the youtube channel is in the description below it's called ace and maverick so make sure to go check him out and subscribe and enjoy the content that he is creating and as always, I thank you guys so much for um, just being great and continuing to follow and support our channel. And if you ever want a video or a ride or coaster to be um, spotlighted, or I should say a video, um, a spotlight video to be created on one of your rides or coasters, just please make sure and let us know and we would love to check out your park and coaster. And I really hope you guys have a great rest of your day.